Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there cancer welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in so getting into your pre-shuffle energies here the first card that came out is the king of pentacles and this does feel like an external masculine energy I don't feel like this is you. This is someone that you're connecting to. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, specifically a Taurus. It doesn't have to be, though. It's someone that may be really commitment-oriented um, uh, or maybe just very materially-oriented, masculine energy. Yeah, okay. Um, someone stable, grounded, I kind of feel like has a good job, good career, something like that.
there's an energy here in which some of you okay I, I i i'm seeing this two ways the first way that i was seeing it was that someone there's a, there's a sense of independence that's being struck here with the nine of pentacles also okay i feel like some of you may be breaking away from some sort of codependency on another person duh that's what codependency would, well or it could be codependency in the terms of substances but no this is in the terms of another person a masculine energy someone i feel like for a lot of you it could be someone that you've been connected to for a while and you're finally breaking free from this one aspect that i was seeing is that maybe this individual who's represented by the king of pentacles is very much socially oriented maybe socially bound maybe may, might be a party goer maybe someone uh, like a, a heavy partier or someone that's really more preoccupied with what his or her friends have to say or what they're doing rather than what's best for the relationship and now because you are striking free breaking free from that with the there's there's conflict with the five of wands energy and yet there's still swift movement with the eight of wands and also so with judgment here okay now for others of you you could be coming into a union with someone leaving your bachelorhood bachelor bachelorette energies behind and this actually might be moving quite quickly with the eight of wands and that could be giving you some some pause being like oh god is this moving too quickly i don't know you might be feeling conflicted about it you might be someone that's been single for quite a while and has been enjoying being single but now things are progressing all of a sudden in which there might be a masculine energy around you that's really looking to you know land a commitment take things to the next level you know be that grounded support system that counterpart to you and it feels like you're celebrating it on one hand, but then on the other hand, you're kind of like, I don't know about this. But ultimately, whatever is going on here, however that resonates for you, Cancer, this is divinely guided. Judgment. Okay. Erection. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Erection, you say. My, my. Things just got really juicy and saucy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to say was, a resurrection instead I said erection maybe this person really turns you on really does it for you and it's because I ooh, you better get it honey and that might be why you're in this situation where you're kind of like oh do I take this to the next level do I want to like nail this person down should I let them nail me down oh god oh god what does it all mean <laughs> Relax, Cancer. I don't think you need to really rush into anything. Even though things might be moving pretty quickly, I don't think you need to rush. Because again, this is divinely guided. Spirit is leading you in this direction, all right? So it's not like anyone's being overzealous, trying to take things too fast, too soon. Take this one, okay. Yup, you've got a relationship coming through here. Ooh, wee, damn. Yo, this is some tea, honey. All right, so you've got a relationship for sure here. The lovers, all right? Now, this is either a relationship you're breaking out of, like there's some sort of justice that's coming into terms in the a relationship that's already been standing, or maybe you're generating or you're tr attracting a relationship that is bringing, that is just, okay? You have two similar energies in judgment and justice. Justice is legally like the balance of the scales that type of situation and justice is an energy in which karma is doled out right judgment is similar in yes justice is brought to the situation but resurrection redemption absol absolution absolution that kind of energy that comes through it's like a phoenix from the ashes risen type energy but then hold your horses because underneath the deck now cancer the devil could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You also could be dealing with a Libra, or you could have any one of these energies in your chart. But looky here, this is the good and the bad and the ugly and the shitty and the not so pretty of the lovers. There are two sides to every coin. Nothing, well, see, but nothing is quote perfect, but yet having this light and dark aspect is a part of, uh, 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 of something's sense of perfection obviously perfection is subjective okay 
Now, the, the devil energy here, I really feel like this is symbolizing fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of a relationship even. Oh shoot, wait a second, hold on, what is this? We've got the tower with the fool. Whoa! Hey Cancer, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a, a technical difficulty. My sound just completely cut out at one point. Not really sure why that happened, but luckily it was only at the very last seconds of this pre-shuffle channeling here. So what I found, because I, I noticed there were some cards that were flipped over that were still in the deck. I checked, I looked at them. It's the Tower and the Fool, all right? So what I was saying in terms of that is some of, some of you, there are some of you that are in fact becoming single, okay? And if you are becoming single, I was saying that it is because you are breaking free from codependent energies. Or now on, on the other hand, there are some of you that are entering into a relationship. And if that's you, you're probably scared as all hell. <laughs> scared, scared, scared as fuck. Cause you're like, holy shit, I don't know about this. Some of you have been, may have been single for quite a while for a very good reason, for a valid reason. But now it's time for you to get back on the bike. Get back on that tandem bike and start riding down into the sunset. This is a big change, but it's a good change, Cancer, all right? It's a very, very good change. Okay. So with that said now, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into the rest of your reading here, Cancer, and we'll see what we've got for you, okay? Let me just give this one shuffle here. All right, Cancer. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for you, okay? From a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. That was one. This is two. Three. For my Cancerians, for my Cancers. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July. Uh, nope, for the month of August. Sorry, August 2019. Um, four, number four. Some of you might have, some of you, this may have started in July. Whatever we're talking about here may have kicked off. Maybe the relationship kind of started getting deeper in July, or maybe you started realizing that you needed to break free from it in July. And five. All right, here we go. Best messages, please, spirit. I do want to point out that the Nine of Cups just did catch, catch my attention. Um, so I do feel like great satisfaction is coming to you, regardless of whichever way, direction you're going in, regardless of however this is resonating for you, all right? Overall energy, Cancer, you've got the Knight of Swords. Ooh. Charging into something, breaking free. For some of you, this is actually a conversation that needs to be had. Um, this is, again, a more energy of things moving very quickly. Um, the heaviest thing, the strongest thing I'm getting here is someone breaking free from some sort of tyranny, breaking from the change, that devil energy, okay? For others of you, this is just a symbol, a symbol of how fast the situation is moving. And it might be sudden. It might not have been moving very fast at all in the past, but now all of a sudden something's been kicked into gear. You know what I mean? That's kind of what I'm picking up on. Underneath the Knight of Swords, you've got the Hermit. Individuality, self-expression, um, self-awareness. Okay. Virgo energy also. And this is also can be seen as Gemini energy, but it could also be Aquarius or Libra. But I do see the knights and the pages as the mutable energies, which in this case would be Gemini. Underneath the hermit, the sun. Oh, Leo energy. That's beautiful. Underneath the sun, 
the Page of Pentacles. Yep, brand new start. Now this could be an offer of commitment. But also this could you be breaking free on your own and starting a new reality, starting a new level, starting a new chapter in your life. A level up even. Now, what I really do feel like, regardless of whatever direction you're moving in, Cancer, this is happening for you. Someone could be coming in for you or you could be having a conversation or making some take, taking some steps to make some changes to remove someone from your life in such a quick manner because of some sort of self-discovery, realization, um, self-awareness that has been brought upon you or that you've gone through. There's a level of understanding that's deeper within yourself that is allowing whatever this change is to progress, okay? All right, getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of your reading. You could see this as the first half, second half of your reading. You could also see it as the first half, second half of your month. Just keep in mind, time is an illusion, energies are fluid, but take it as it resonates best for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. We Not Gemini, sorry, I just did the Gemini reading. Cancer, first set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. You got the Eight of Cups. Well, well, well. Someone is walking away from something. Maybe you're walking away from the single life or maybe you're walking away from the committed life in which neither of those situations are very fulfilling for you. And there's an energy of not wanting to settle. It's like, well, I could have all 10 cups. Why should I have to settle for eight? And for some of you that are actually entering into a new relationship, that's part of your back and forth. That's part of that five of wands energy or the inner conflict that you're experiencing surrounding the situation. And it's like, wait a second, my eight cups are good. Why do I need two more? And the other side of you is like, because I want two more. I deserve to have two more. Why shouldn't I have them? And the other side of you that's dare I say complacent, is like, but, but, but what if things go wrong? And, and what if you like open a can of worms? Then we deal with the worms. I want my 10 of cups. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful, Cancer. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here. Page of swords, seeking something. Yep. More Gemini energy. I'm sorry, not the second set of surrounding energies. The Eight of Cups is coupled with, sorry guys, but the Eight of Cups is coupled with the Page of Swords. More Gemini energy, yes, but seeking truth, understanding, and knowledge, seeking something better for yourself, whether it is you're getting into a relationship or you're breaking free from a relationship, okay? This is also seeking understanding, seeking truth. I think I already said that, but anyway, someone is definitely looking for that Eight of Cups. I'm sorry, that Two of Cups to complete their 10. And if you are getting out of a relationship, that would mean you were entering the single life to find that balance of masculine and feminine, that union, that harmony within yourself to complete the situation, to become your own 10 of cups for yourself. No external influence needed. Now, ain't that ideal? Mm -hmm. Second set of surrounding energies. Now we're actually getting into the second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer. For the first half of your reading here, you've got, there is justice again. Libra energy. Honestly, regardless of whatever situation, whatever way this is working out for you, Cancer, there is justice coming into play here. This, I do feel like, yes, this is an expression of karma, but again, regardless of what direction you're moving in, this is good karma coming to you. I'm hearing lessons learned, insight has been gained, knowledge has been acquired, and now the scales can be set in greater balance than they have been in the past. Justice is coupled with the Queen of Cups. Wow. This is something that you wanted for a long time, Cancer, but also this is you, right? The Queen of Cups represents the Cancerian archetype as the cardinal energy. It also could be another water sign, Cancer, or, I'm sorry, Scorpio or Pisces, but this really, this really feels like you because there is, there is emotional validation 
emotional justice being put into play here for you. And yes, that fe I feel that for whichever, whether you're getting into a relationship or not, but I kind of feel that the strongest for those of you that may have been in a relationship that might have been toxic and codependent, it's like now, the, the 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 changes you are making or the 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 direction that you're moving in is bringing greater justice to you emotionally like this feels like strong emotional validation okay i love that your challenge in the first half of your reading here cancer you've got the star healing following your intuition diving into the unknown there really isn't much that you can see surrounding you it is pretty dark but you still have that one speck of light that's guiding you in a direction that is ultimately what's ultimately what's best for you you've got to trust that your challenge here is to trust your guiding light because your guiding light is coming from a higher place of awareness from source even god creator your higher self however you want to recognize it or identify with it all right but in terms of what's happening here there is also healing at play too that's beautiful your uh, the star in your challenge is coupled with yeah the nine of swords anxiety and fear um, especially if you are leaving a relationship there is anxiety and fear coming towards uh, in, in forms of what is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. But the guidance is that you don't necessarily need to know what what's going to happen. The more that you focus on what's going to happen, the more and more it's going to drive you insane. So instead of looking, trying to figure out what the future brings, instead focus on the here and now. And that absolutely goes for if you are entering into a relationship. Well, what if, what, what, what happens if like everything goes to shit and all of my fears are, 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 are validated? Well, Cancer, look at it this way. The more you focus on that with the Nine of Swords, the more of a self-fulfilling prophecy it is going to be. So, again, instead of trying to figure out what the future is going to hold or what the future is going to bring, focus on the here and now. Because literally, that's all you have. The future is a dream, is, I don't know, is a projection, is a guess. And the past is just that, the past. Neither of those energies are here and now, unless you bring them here with your thoughts and fears and that, all that stuff, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. This is a harvest. Again, like I said in the beginning of the reading with this nine, with the, the nine, yes, in the Hermit card, you guys have been doing a lot of work, whether you're conscious of it or not, that has set you up for a harvest, for a deeply powerful and beneficial harvest here, okay? That's excellent. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Swords. For some of you, uh, most if not all, I guess, at least for whom I'm channeling here, the universe is kind of saying, um, we need you to like stop and take a break for a moment and realize that this is actually what you've been asking for the whole time. Ooh. Woo! All right, Cancer. Well, I need, I'm going to need to take a drink of water after that because, whoa! <laughs> this is heavy. This is heavy. But also, what this is saying is some, for some of you, you just got to like chill out for a second and allow things to develop a little bit more. You're at a checkpoint. For some of you, you're at a checkpoint in which now you're deciding how you want to proceed given what has happened in the past. For others of you, you're at a checkpoint and the universe is asking to, asking to open up to the blessings that you have been praying for, that you are about to receive. All right? All right, Cancer. Getting into the second half of your reading now, first set of surrounding energies for you, you have 
Page of Wands, self-discovery, a new creative direction. And, I mean, that's all going back to this hermit energy. This is what has influenced this change in your life. Page of Wands is coupled with, oh, damn, there's the lovers again. Again, more Gemini energy. There could have been a situation in which you had an involvement with a Gemini that helped you understand yourself better. But ultimately, this is a choice that is being made that is uh, representing a greater, deeper alignment with yourself that you are able to make by understanding yourself more. All right. So either this has already happened and that's what's going through, that's what's coming through, or this could be what's happening in your month of August. You could be making this choice in August. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Cancer, you've got the Queen of Wands. Ooh, look at you. Sassy, saucy, sexy, and fun. <laughs> Magnetism. And this is also confidence. The confidence to go in, to go after what it is you desire or the confidence to bring towards you what it is you truly want. The Queen of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the Hanged Man. Look at that. Piscean energy. This, and the Queen of Wands here could be Aries energy, but it also could be another fire sign, uh, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. But I just feel like the Queen of Wands is you, Cancer. You have, there's a change in perspective here for you. So maybe this is coming later in the month, or this is just a corroboration of the fact that you have grown, you reached some sort of enlightenment. And so when it comes to this nine of swords energy, it's almost like the universe could kind of look at you all screw face. Like you have like nine different heads saying, well, wait a second, why are you all afraid now? This is what you've been asking us for the whole time, even though the universe already knows why you might be in this fear and anxiety, but like, yeah you've been asking you've been you've been waiting for this you've wanted this so don't be afraid now because you have the change in perspective or you've gained it or you're gaining the change in perspective that is allowing you to embody this queen of wands energy this extreme magnetism the queen of wands magnetizes anything and everything she could ever desire to herself but in order for you to embody this energy, you do need to go through a change in perspective, which is something that I feel like either you've already come out of or you're coming out of it. Okay, Cancer? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got, ah, the Three of Pentacles. Teamwork. For some of you, you've wanted to stay single for so long because it was hard to work with others. You didn't really want to work with others. You kind of just wanted to be on your own. Well. That's changing. Teamwork. Now, others of you, is this is a sense of self-mastery here, okay? That being in your challenge, though. Maybe some of you work with this person. Possibly. Not necessarily. Could be for a small amount of you. What not, whatever. Take it as it resonates, guys. But, okay. Three of Pentacles is coupled with... Ah! Well, looky here. The moon. You've got the sun and the moon in your reading. The balance, good, bad, positive, negative. All right, cool. Masculine, feminine. Yeah, yeah. All right, great. But what does this mean specifically? Three of pentacles with the moon. Well, you could be, oh, I just heard you could be masking your feelings for each other. You could be masking your feelings in terms of actually wanting to have a relationship, a reciprocal relationship, uh, a relationship in which you are team members. You are friends more than just lovers, you know? It's more than just sexual or romantic or emotional validation. It's also physical validation. It's like, it's, yeah, it's that teamwork aspect. You might, there might be some fear around that. Some of you really need to work on overcoming your fear of having to work with another, I guess is what I want to say. I don't really feel like this is compromise. I'm not asking you to compromise. I'm just saying there is a way that you two can work together in which your individuality 
is not compromised. You know, you're coming, again, you're coming together as a team. For some of you, you have found someone in which this is possible. For others of you, you are in the process of moving away from that. Also though, Cancer, this could be you. Obviously in Tarot, the moon represents Piscean energy, but in astrology, Cancer is ruled by the moon. Okay. Yeah. So for some of you, the challenge here is finding someone in which you really can be a team, team member with. For others of you, it's being able to be in a team situation with someone, like opening yourself up to that and not just wanting to be a lone wolf. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome in the last second half of your reading here, Cancer. You've got, aw. The Four of Wands, happy home, good stability. Whether you're leaving a relationship or entering into a relationship, there is a hell of a lot of good stability here that you can then build on, build upon, whether it's with someone or alone, independently. Again, whether you're leaving a relationship or entering into a relationship. Four of Wands is coupled with, damn, Cancer, you are all over this reading, The Chariot. I'm telling you, y'all, this, this is alignment. This, the chariot, is your card officially. So whatever is happening for you right now is absolutely in alignment with yourself, your true de wants, desires, and wishes. And you have excellent st uh, a found, an excellent foundation to build upon moving forward, okay? Beautiful, Cancer, I love it. Let's get into your oracle guidance here to close out your reading for August 2019. Best message, please, spirit, from a Cancerians. To close out this reading for August 2019, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right, here we go. Oracle guidance from a Cancerians. For my Cancerians. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. For my cancers, for my cancers. Just going to let it fall out here. Oof, that is way too many. I'm going to take this one. Card number 25. Release the dark wound. Let love live. Okay, here we go. If we detach something from its source too soon, trying to force it to become what it is not yet ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally sap it of its strength and kill it. There is a dark wound in the consciousness of humanity which demands perfection and denies process. If you are thinking of publishers before you have even written the book, if you are comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you are not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've even given it everything you've got and asked for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. You have to let go of the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring it moves us so much more joyously and creatively than fear. You are being asked to honor your path of your own love. I'm sorry, you are being asked to honor the path of your own love. What inspires you? What feels exciting, joyful, and perhaps even rather different? Let that live. Release the dark wounding of false belief. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who very nearly binned the project that was the making of their career because of the despair fostered by their own dark nature. They doubted. They were uncertain. Was their work any good? Was it useless? They struggled to believe in the right of a work to come to life, whether it was accepted, revered, or rejected by others or not. They nearly lost their work to fear. Undoubtedly, 
There has been many times when this has actually happened and the work was not saved, not allowed to live. Do not let this happen to you. Whether something is meant to be a commercially oriented venture or a more personal creation for your own therapeutic healing, it must be allowed to be without judgment, without criticism, even without premature evalu evaluation. It must be allowed to be what it is and only time, love, patience and attention will reveal it. Okay, there you have it, Cancer. So I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Y'all, take care. Mwah! Bye!